Well good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now I'm sorry I um, apologise because the heat is on, it's so cold in here. It's uh, what time is it this morning? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I put the heater on at uh, half past eight on to 20 but it's still only 16 degrees in here. So uh, what I've done, I have all these uh, these young paths, these small, just above seedling size in here and uh, they're very very slow so what I've done, you can see some uh, some gaps here I've left I've made a little shelf inside in the warm room where there it's 26 degrees I think now and uh, it drops to 18 at night and the uh, humidity is uh, around about 70 to 80 during the day because I've got a little humidifier in there so we'll go in there and have a look where I put them. Well here we are in the room and uh, there's the a few of the cat layers and underneath I put another little bench to hold the uh, puffier pedlums, the small puffier pedlums. Now I'm, ho I'm hoping that with the extra heat these will uh, help the roots to come on a lot, a lot more. Uh, they need watering at the moment but uh, I think with the temperature here as it is and uh, the humidity and uh, the air movement they're getting in here that the, uh, the roots in these will grow much quicker than the ones in the, uh, in the greenhouse. Just uh, another little experiment of mine but uh, as you can see above are the Moyes Hydro lights. I'm not sure of them because ah, there they are. They're directly on top of the uh, catliers and the filtered light comes down to the uh, the small puffier pedlums. So they should do very very well I think. Anyway I'm going to water all these this morning and I'm going to use, uh, I'm just going to use some tap water for a change. And I'm going to use tap water on the uh, cat layers and we'll have a look at them too. And also with some of these uh, phalaenopsis, especially this one on the, uh, on the mount. Well I've brought a few of the plants into the kitchen and uh, these are ready for watering but I've just had a bit of a setback at the moment. I walked outside and smelt a bit of gas so I've run the gas board up and they're coming I've had to, had to switch all the gas appliances off but they said to be here inside one hour and they deal with it but as you can see I've got some uh, little bamboo canes in here and what I put these in for is uh, if I take them out and they dry they need watering but if they're still wet at the bottom, then they don't need watering. And that's a good way to find out if your plants need watering or not. Just stick a little bamboo cane in. Well, I've got a bit of tap water here and uh, I've warmed it up. Though the temperature is... Uh, let's have a look. Then we'll take the TDS to see what the TDS of my tap water is. I haven't done that for a bit. The temperature of the water is 75.4 Fahrenheit, so that's nice, especially for puffy pedlums. And the TDS is, be interesting this, press the hold button. And we find out that it's uh, 125. So that's not so bad, it'll do just for this time. Well, we'll start by doing the first one, which is a Puffy Pedlum Emersonii. Now, I've got this tap water here, so I'll just pour that through. And uh, I'm using this 
this bucket here because I want all the water to run through there and then I want to, uh, when I finish, uh, test the, uh, not that I'm not bothered about the pH at the moment, test the TDS to see how much salts have run out of here. This one is a little uh, puffy Padlum Laurensonia, Laurensianum. They're all in small white, these. And I was looking at uh, here but nots. Uh, here but nots uh, thing you put on the web. And he was suggesting what you should do with the uh, small plants like this and he recommends first putting the plant in uh, in, in the in the, the bark in the plant pot and then on top having the plant wrapped in uh, in moss sitting on top of the uh, of the medium and he said that works very well so I've just ordered some moss so I'm going to try that if this doesn't work but you generally find that, uh, yeah, you'll generally find that uh, that Justin on here but not has some very, very, very good things uh, to say about growing orchids. So uh, just have a look at his uh, his channel, or just put here but not on the web, and it will come up for you. But it's worth having a look at. Now this is a Phalaenopsis dianum. This is a very small Puffy Pedlum Barbatum uh, with variety Nigritum. Very, very small seedlings, just about seedling size. I don't want to get them too wet because, uh, with my, I mean, once I've watered them. Uh, I want them to dry out completely before I water them again. Now this one is a, a small seedling of two of one of my bigger plants. It's a, here we are, Michael Kupovich cross uh, Rothschildrianum crossed Anitum. So uh, I'm looking forward to this one if I can get it going properly. So the, uh, the little bamboo sticks in there will tell me when they need watering or not. Right, there are only four more on this, uh, on this shelf I've made. And this one is a Esquirolii. Esquiro Esquiro Beautiful plant this, when they grow. I mean, when the, blue, when the buds open, the blooms are beautiful colour. And then they change shape and they're uh, absolutely gorgeous. Esquirolii. And this one is a. <laughs> no name on it, but it's some kind of path. see how quick the water is running through. So these will never get soggy. The Farianum. Last but not least is a Dawiana. And this doesn't take much water. I don't like keeping these too wet. 
So that's the Paffy Pedlums, the small ones done. So we'll just take the uh, TDS. If you remember it was at uh, 125 and it's now at 126 so there's been virtually no fertiliser in there well we're smelling the uh, gas leak this morning there's uh, wagons galore outside now and uh, they're going to dig up round my property but they're, they're around everybody else's house now digging up there so uh, we'll see what's going on there must be a, a nice leak somewhere anyhow they'll sort it out the problem is though I've no heat on in the house now and it's freezing outside so uh, I'll have to try and use electricity to warm myself up, but that is very expensive. Anyhow, let's carry on with the water and the cat layers. I've got a, what have I got in front of me? I think I've got a Princess is the far one and the, uh, the one nearest to you is a, uh, oh, what do you call it? It's a golf green airy pig. And this is getting ready for uh, wiring up, so uh, I might do that uh, for tomorrow. Right, so this is the uh, princess. And you can see it's got a nice growth here. Very nice coming on. This has already been wired up, so that's keeping things nice and straight. So we'll just bung that in there. Still tap water. We'll leave that in there for a few minutes before I put the next one in. Um two, three. And know some of you will be thinking, why doesn't he get a big tub and do it a few at a time? Well, I could do that quite easily, but uh, I have plenty of time on my hands, so I prefer doing them one at a time. It passes time for me as well. Well, I've got the Catlianthe, uh, Luke Torn, and the uh, King of Taiwan here. They're the next to be watered, so we'll just run through them and have a look at the new growths on them and make sure they're all okay, no mealy bugs or anything. Now you can see that's where it uh, flowered from before, it was its first flowering and they were beautiful. But look at the growths on it. There's a little nubbins coming up there, as you can see. There's a new growth there. Turn it round. If the label doesn't get in the way. And there's a large new growth there as well. And they're both coming from different uh, growths. Looks like there's some more coming out there through the bottom. So this is doing really well. That's the king of Taiwan. That should be beautiful at the end of next year. Well, this is the Luton African Beauty and this is doing very well. Yeah, I've put it under a stronger light, so I think the leaves are a little bit paler than they used to be. And uh, plenty of roots around this one. Absolutely full of them all over. And uh, nice new growth coming up there. And another nice new growth coming up there. I think that's all I can see. You know what my eyes are like, they're pretty bad. But I think there's just two new growths there. Yep, that's the Catlianthe. Notice some of the suitables have got one leaf on, unifoliate, and the others are uh, have got two leaves on. You know, so uh, that is a real mixture of uh, <coughs> excuse me, a real mixture of uh, different plants, because the uh, the single leaf ones are the easiest to bloom. And the double leaf ones are the hardest to bloom. So this might uh, show a little bit of... Uh, so this one being uh, single leaf and double leaf might uh, show a little bit of uh, backwards in coming forwards, if you know what I mean. Well, we've got the king of Taiwan soaking in there. So I'm doing all the things the same. I'm using all the same water. So when I've done them all, we'll just test the TDS because it was... Uh, one, two, five to start with, and we'll see what it is when I've done them all. Well, here are the last two I'm doing for today, and uh, there are two uh, Catlayer Alma Key Trimpoli, 
this is one. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This is an armor key trimple in one of these. It's the plant I split, and uh, there's one with a sheath on. A new growth with a sheath. But uh, it won't do anything. And this is the other one, which is the armor key. And uh, that put a new growth up with the sheath, but well, that's what's happened to that one. But uh, they both seem to be doing very well. And the last one is the Lelia perennii, that's uh, not showing any new growth at all yet. Absolutely nothing. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see with these. Anyhow, thanks very much for watching, and I'm sorry it's just a short video. But uh, I hope somebody's found it interesting and I've got to just uh, test the water again, haven't I, from 125 to see what it is. Well, the TDS was 125, so we'll just see what it is now. Hundred eighty three. So it hasn't gone up much, has it? Well, well, thanks very much for watching, and until next time, thanks to all my subscribers, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.